you guys. Hi, it is BJ, the blogger, and I am here um, recording a YouTube video. I had, I keep going back and forth in, in terms of like how I want to record these videos, but um, I figured I would just go ahead and just do something really quick. Um, I didn't feel like creating a Zoom presentation. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and um, I don't know we'll see how I like this maybe I'll start doing videos more like this in the future but what I want to talk to you guys about is knowing when you are operating as your lower self versus when you're operating as your higher self so um, really the whole my specialty is helping people um, become and transform into their higher self that is what my specialty is and as I've been coaching people I've been noticing different things and um, I figured I would share with you guys just some of the things that I've been noticing because I think that it can be helpful for you or you know whoever and it's helpful for me um, just when you're going through everyday life you know some things to just kind of be aware of so when you're operating as your higher self you got to understand your higher self naturally operates on a frequency of abundance um it's just natural because your higher self is at its full potential it's doing everything that it came here for and humans are naturally supposed to be abundant so um your higher self is going to be operating on a frequency of abundance meaning your higher self is going to be operating on a higher frequency in general so what does that mean what does it mean to be operating on a high frequency so there is a frequency of consciousness scale that david hawkins has kind of coined i don't know if there's anybody else that has really talked about it but that's just how i learned about it and the frequency of consciousness is directly related to your emotions so high frequency is when you're experiencing emotions like joy love understanding peace god consciousness that is high frequency emotions and you have to understand that your higher self operates on a high frequency so when you are experiencing emotions like what we just talked about um that is when you're walking into your higher self and we're not talking about like just pretending we're talking about like in your soul and in your spirit you really feel these emotions and that is how you operate on um the plane of where your higher self is and that is how you operate on the uh frequency of abundance and you know we could talk about we'll talk about like manifestations law of attraction all that other stuff inside of later videos but you have to understand in order for you to be able to manifest the things that you want like the positive things the good things the money the love the job that you want the relationships that you want the friendships that you want if you want to um attract these things and you want to manifest these things they are going to happen on the frequency of abundance and um the frequency of abundance is on the frequency the high frequency of emotion and consciousness which again like we said love joy happiness all of those great things so um there is the other end of that spectrum which is shame there's fear um sadness um jealousy greed all of those things those are lower frequency emotions so that is when you're operating as your lower self and that is what i really wanted to talk about uh, with you guys today is what does it look like when you are operating at your lower as your lower self and you know how do you know and what to do inside of those situations so i kind of tweeted about it a little bit on my twitter so if you don't know my twitter is bj the blogger on twitter and um you're you guys if you ever want to like catch some of the stuff that i'm probably going to talk about on my instagram or on my youtube if you want to catch it a little bit earlier than other people then or my podcast excuse me then follow me on twitter is the best way <laughs> because most of the time the discussions that i have on my platforms come directly from you know the brain dumps that i have on my twitter so anyway 
um, what we're talking about operating as your lower self. So when, when you are triggered to operating as your lower self, and there's some people that have just been operating as their lower self their entire life, that looks like you being very upset, you being angry. Maybe you're feeling like really low emotions and you can't really pinpoint why you're feeling these emotions. You just are. Um, you're just really depressed and you can't find a whole lot of things to be excited about. Um, and you're not only feeling these emotions, but you're also having a lot of negative thoughts that are just cycling, cycling inside of your mind. You're having limiting beliefs. Um, so you're thinking thoughts that are like, I'm not doing enough. I'm not good enough. Nobody wants me. Um, you know, why did I do that? I'm so stupid. Or you're reliving shameful moments or embarrassing moments inside of your mind. All of those different things. Whenever you're experiencing that, you are operating as your lower self. And what happens is... A lot of people, people that aren't healed, people that aren't, you know, going to therapy, don't have a transformation coach or a higher self coach like myself, they don't know that when you get into those modes, when you start to feel those ways, you can't, you can't just continue to live your life like it's just like whatever. You have to be very conscious to stop and acknowledge what's going on. Because if not, then you're just operating in the world as your lower self. And the more time that you spend in that frequency of your lower self, operating in those low frequency emotions, the more time that you spend inside of that frequency, what you're doing is you're manifesting and you're attracting things that are also operating on that frequency. So um, what I was talking about on my Twitter is people that are operating as their lower self, they tend to get in more car accidents. They tend to have more accidents in general, um, break things more often. Um, what else? Um, attract really bad relationships inside of their life. Things like that. I, I think you guys kind of understand what I'm talking about because I'm sure you've experienced this before where you've been like you started your day bad. You woke up and you were irritated. You had a bad dream. Whatever happened, um, somebody said something to you that pissed you off. Maybe it happened the day before. You read something that made you feel uncomfortable, made you feel shame, made you feel self self-conscious about yourself. Whatever. You, you started to experience those emotions and then you continued your day. Instead of you sitting and taking the time to acknowledge those emotions, you continued going about your day. Um, and like I said, the more time that you're spending inside of that frequency, you're manifesting negativity inside of your life. So let's say you're going about your day and you're on this frequency and then more bad things are happening somebody at work pisses you off says something to you somebody you're driving and somebody cuts you off on your way to work um you ordered something for lunch and they completely messed up your order you stepped in poop i don't know but you started your day bad and your day just continued to get worse and worse and worse and for a lot of people it's not just a day for them for a lot of people it's weeks that they're going on operating on this frequency, months, even years. I mean, for some families, it's generations that are experiencing operating on low frequencies and attracting things into their lives that are also operating on that frequency. So um, what is important to understand is that when you're operating as your lower self, a lot of times what's happening is your inner child is trying to get your attention um, for whatever reason. Maybe your inner child is feeling abandoned. Maybe your inner child is feeling neglected. Something happened that triggered you to start operating as your lower self. Maybe you know what happened. Maybe you don't know what happened. Who knows? But what's important is that 
what you need to do when you consciously recognize like, okay, everything in my life is going to shit. Maybe I'm operating at my, as my lower self right now. And what's also important is when you start to internalize the things that are going on around you. Cause if you're a narcissist, if you're somebody that don't, doesn't take responsibility for themselves, doesn't take responsibility for whatever is going on around them, then you're not gonna take the time to be like, all right, what's going on in here? You're gonna be like, oh, they did this to me. You did this to me. Um, this person did something wrong. They did something wrong. When you're externalizing it, you're not getting to the root of the problem. You're blaming, pushing the blame onto everybody else, everything else and externalizing your problems when in reality you need to be up in here and figuring out what's going on up here that is causing it to manifest out there so anyways back to what i was saying so when we are operating as our lower self we need to figure out okay what is it that triggered me what what is it that triggered my um inner child to be freaking the fuck out right now and you know, ask yourself, spend some time with yourself and be like, all right, how long has it been has, that I've been operating as my lower self? Has it been a couple of days? Has it been a couple of weeks? Do I know what the root of it is? What's wrong? What am I so upset about? Is it, be, am I feeling self-conscious? Why am I feeling self-conscious? What happened? So, um, you know, really take some time to kind of figure out what triggered you. But again, that's not always necessarily important that is important when it comes to you trying to prevent these things from happening in the future so i do still encourage you to do the shadow work to kind of figure out like okay what's going on that's triggering me but it's not necessarily important when we're trying to um understand like bouncing in and out of the lower self higher self frequency so um what was i saying so so yeah so it's not necessarily important but if you are somebody that really is understands that you keep operating inside of your lower self then i would absolutely encourage you to to seek some help um you know like i always tell y'all y'all can reach out to me but um you can go to your therapist um you can even do research on your own um do some shadow work but that's just if you really want to get to the root of the problem. But if you want to just figure out why you're operating as your lower self right now, figure out what triggered you and what kind of like caused you to start feeling so crappy. What caused you to have these like thoughts that are negative that keep going on through your head. So let's say you can't figure it out. Let's say you, you can't remember. You're not sure what, what it is that caused you to feel this way, but you just are. The major key is you need to find self-soothing activities that are going to get you out of this rut and um healthy self-soothing activities so the purpose of it is is for you to make your inner child feel safe again so you can start feeling like okay i'm safe i feel in control over my emotions i'm i'm here you know what i i feel content i feel happy right now that's really the goal of having that healthy self-soothing activity and for you to to distract you either distract or stop the negative thoughts reject them and then start replacing those thoughts with positive ones so that's the idea of self-soothing so a example of a, a, a healthy self-soothing activity would be petting a dog or a cat or whatever or playing with your kid those are um, really good self-soothing activities. So you go, maybe you're in that bad mood, you have your dog, you go to your dog and you're playing with your dog and then all of a sudden the problems that you have just started start to melt away and you're just thinking about how happy you are playing with your dog. And if this is a self-soothing activity that works really well for you, then the things that were, you know, keeping you at a low frequency, you're gonna forget about it, you're not gonna worry about it. If you don't, figure out exactly what's causing you to get into that low frequency it's very possible that tomorrow you'll be back inside of that same situation back into the same place where you're operating at a low frequency and you're in a bad mood and then you have to do self-soothing again so 
that's why it's important to kind of like get to the root of the problem but ultimately what we're really talking about is getting you out of that cycle we got to get you out of the cycle get you operating into the high frequency by doing the healthy self-soothing so that you can kind of move on and start feeling positivity again and when you start feeling the positivity then you can start living your life during in the higher frequency and start manifesting good things inside of your life um so that's really what i, I mean that's the gist of what i wanted to talk to you guys about at the end of the day and i can't remember what book i was reading is it they can grow rich I'm pretty sure but the idea is when you're having you can absolutely have a negative thought it's okay everybody has a negative thought every so often everybody looks maybe they look in the mirror and like oh I'm a little fat here I don't like this little pudge on this side or I don't like how I looked in that picture or whatever everybody has a negative thought you have to keep yourself from dwelling that is what's important when you start to dwell that is when you start to start the cycle of you operating at a low frequency and the more time that you spend operating at the low frequency then the more time you have to attract negative negative things inside of your life so um again it's okay to have a negative thought like don't beat yourself up for having a negative thought but you really need to get into the habit of snapping out of it as soon as you have that negative thought and um redirecting yourself into a positive thought so that's really what i wanted to talk to you guys about um if you're let me know in the comments like have you experienced what i kind of been what i was talking about like operating at your as your lower self for i don't know a day and like had a really bad day the entire day or even operating as your higher self and just feeling like awesome the entire day like I mean, you just start feeling lucky. You start finding money places and, you know, running into people and just, I don't know, like you're just having a good day and you're having really good conversations with people and um, your job's going well and all these great things are happening. Like when you're operating your higher self, it, the same thing that happens as your lower self, it happens as your higher self too. Um, what's important is how much time are we spending operating on these frequency levels? because that's how you really start to um, transform your life. And the real question is, are you trans spending time transforming your life inside of a positive direction or are you spending time po transforming your life in a negative direction? I mean, it's really up to you. You have full control and you have all of the power. You just have to claim it. All right, that was all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, of course, I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna remind you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know if you liked this video and um, please make sure that you check me out on Instagram and Twitter um, at BJ the Blogger and you can check out my website which has my blog as well as my services which is BJ the So I will check you guys next time. Bye.